What is going on, guys? This is your boy and the Matrix. I talk about anime, manga, video games, geek culture, and Japanese culture. What's going on, guys? So I bring some pretty interesting news, man. Uh, this is pretty interesting. And Netflix is finally, you know, giving an ultimatum. An ultimatum to its activist employees. I was going to use the word W-O-K-E, but I don't want to use that word because of YouTube. So Netflix is finally giving an ultimatum to their to their employees saying, look, uh, here's the memo. If you don't like it, leave. You know, get out. We'll find somebody else. There's plenty of people that will, are willing to replace you. <clears throat> now, before we continue, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Make sure to hit the notification bell, guys. And, and like the video. I'm on a journey to get 1,000 subscribers, and I very much appreciate your help. So... Thanks a lot, guys. Now, as you can see, I am here at the dailywire.com. It says Netflix fires major warning shot at its WOKE employees with new culture memo. Okay. And it looks like this first started with Variety. Variety, I think they were the first people to announce it. It said Netflix updates corporate co culture memo, adding anti censorship section and a vow to spend our. About to spend our members' money wisely. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Right? So, he says, adding anti censorship section. I, 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 lo I love the sound of that. I love the sound of that. Now, do not forget, do not forget that Netflix. <laughs> Netflix has been going down the drain for the past, for the past months, right? I mean, just like, just like, you know. Three months, no, a month ago, they were at how much? They were at three hundred and fifty dollars per in their stock market, right? So they had a higher value, and now they went down by, they went down to like less than two hundred dollars in the stock market, right? So Netflix, I mean, they've been just going down. They've been going from like seven hundred dollars of value, all the way down to two hundred. They've been losing a lot, and they know why. They know exactly why. And finally, it looks like they're stepping up and. You know getting the courage to tell people you know get the f off get the f off we're sick and tired of this you know of, we're sick and tired of losing subscribers we're sick and tired of losing people we're sick and tired of making things making content that people hate <laughs> but let's go ahead and read i'm bam i'm mambling up too much Right, so it says here the, ver the variety reports that the, that the change in Netflix company culture appears to be in large part due to the backlash of streaming service face from WOKE employees last year over its Dave Chappelle special, which the employees claim was transphobic. Now, you guys already know what happened with Dave Chappelle, right? Dave Chappelle was attacked. People tried to cancel him, and I guess they kind of canceled him, but Dave Chappelle came back even stronger. They came back. He came back even stronger. Netflix gave him like two more shows, two more specials on Netflix. I mean, it was crazy. Like you, this man cannot be canceled, right? And I think I think Dave Chappelle is one of the people that is going to is, is standing. He's not only standing up to cancel culture, but also saving entertainment. Because if if we lose something as important as freedom of speech, you know then we lose we lose stand-up comedy because stand-up comedy benefits for freedom of speech freedom of speech is the is the engine of stand-up comedy right so here what does it say it says the update the updated netflix culture memo includes a new section called artistic expression that states that it will not censor specific artists for voices even if employees consider the content harmful yeah if you find it, this is this is what Netflix is telling their employees, right? They say if you find it hard to support our content, breath, breathe. Uh, Netflix may not be the best place for you. <laughs> <laughs> they just told them, they just told them, stick it. You don't like you don't like what we're doing, just stick it. Get out of here. You know this is you shouldn't be working here. We are not changing for you. You work for us. We don't work for you. Okay. Our okay. Our purpose is to our subscribers, not to you, not to your activism. Right. It says later adding that employees may be required to work on projects that that they perceive to be harmful 
and that if they have a hard time accepting their work assignments, they may want they might want to consider working somewhere else. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. I mean, what the heck? What the heck were you expecting? You know? I mean, it's, it's, it's a very spoiled mentality that, you you know, these people go to work somewhere and then they want to change everything in that company. Like, no, it doesn't work like that. How dare you? I mean, if, if you really feel like that, like, I don't know, that Netflix or whatever other company is not, you know, it's not the way you want it, then go start your own company. Okay, go start your own company, your own place, and then, you know, take it from there. Now, then it says entertainment, entertaining the world is an amazing opportunity and also a challenge because viewers have a, have very different st tastes and points of view. So we offer a, a wide variety of TV shows and movies, some of which can be pro provocative. Okay, the new section reads that later adding, we support the artistic expression of the creator we choose to work with and that, and that we let viewers decide what's appropriate for them versus having netflix censor specific artists or voices exactly exactly we shouldn't be censoring somebody be just because a few people doesn't like them and uh another thing one last thing before i um before i close here says the employees the employee was the employee was terminated on sus I guess there was an employee that was terminated say, on suspicion in, of leaking metrics to the press related to Dave Chappelle's special. Those metrics about how much Netflix paid for the closer and how many people it reached. Subsc See, that's the thing. That's the thing. It, it, I think Dave Chappelle was a huge part of this because they realized how, mu how many subscribers and how many hits and how many viewers Dave Chappelle brought. That, you know, they just couldn't let go of the guy. This, you know, this is good business. So it's like, w what are you going to choose? You know, activism or business you know or, or you know or more subscribers you know what are you what are you in, in what are you in for that's the question right it subsequently ended up in a report on bloomberg while the employee had shared the metrics internally they spoke out against the leaks uh, to a colleague worried that they might may, might hurt the walkout movement you know and if you have employees if you have employees in your company like that you gotta get rid of them get rid of them another thing that i want to bring up here is that here at the Daily Mail, the Daily Mail says this is not negotiable. Netflix customers threaten to cancel their subscriptions if it starts showing adverse to those on cheaper plans. As experts warn, Move Move could drive users to rival Apple, Amazon, and Disney Plus. Right? So Netflix announced that they were going to add advertisements to their videos, which Netflix never had. Okay? Hulu has had advertisement. Um, I think Tubi has advertisement. Uh, Amazon Video, free Amazon Video has has advertisements on their on their movies and TV shows, but Netflix has never had them, and people love that, right? This is another thing that um, that convinced pe that convinced Netflix, like, hey, we really need to stop, you know, with activism and really focus on what our customers want. You know, we can't keep losing and just you know and keep dropping, <laughs> keep dropping and dropping and dropping in value. And um, yeah, guys, that is pretty much it. That's pretty much all I had to say about this. You know, whatever your thoughts are, make sure to uh, comment below. Tell me what you think and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell and I will see you guys in the next uh, video. This is Andy Matrix. Godspeed.